Hello everybody, I hope you're having a wonderful day today and today I would like to share a little unboxing with you guys. You guys might know what this is based on who sent it to me. This was sent to me by Blue Creek Knives. Yes, this is the Devo Mash. It's a collaboration with Blue Creek Knives and it's an exclusive to that online retailer. I'll be linking down what I can in the description, but unfortunately this knife is currently out of stock. I believe they are doing what they can to get more out because they sold out within a couple hours, I believe. It was insane. So the unboxing knife is going to be my uh, recently anodized Lady Liberty Demco. This thing is freaking sweet. I love how this came out. A couple little inconsistencies, but I think that just makes it uh, all the more special and unique. So I'm new to anodizing and uh, it was a really, really fun process and I will be doing definitely a lot more stuff in the near future. So let's get this guy opened. Alrighty. There's that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stickers, I always love stickers. Little clovers. Oh, oh, look at that. Diva knives. Oh, another one. Cool. Oh, yeah, two of each. Little peanuts or the S looking ones. I don't know if there's a specific name to those. And just making sure nothing else in there. Yep, nothing else. Okay, cool. All right. Typical. Devo packaging for the most part. I got the reverse tux. This is a 14C28, oh, excuse me, Sandvik 14C28 in. Uh, blade, titanium with tensile titanium scales, inset steel liners, I believe. Wire pocket clip. This thing is good looking for sure. Jimping is very, very faint. But this is going to be a whole deployment. So for middle finger flicking and thumb flicking, let's give this a middle finger flick. Let's check out the center real quick. Perfect. Yeah, it's great. Oh my God. <laughs> That's nice. This is gonna break in really, really well. This is actually OEM'd by Kubi, and one of my most recent purchases, uh, well, close to like the end of um, this just past year, um, was the Bridgeport Knives a Model 395, I believe. <laughs> I hope I'm not mixing up the numbers like an idiot, but I have it off here to the side. I'll show you guys really quick. I needed to clean it because I anodized it. And I got it to this like blurple, but more on the purple side, as you can see. And I'm not really liking it so much because I love using this knife, but the second you touch it, it's just smudge everywhere. And it just completely muddles up the, uh, the color and it, it dulls it out. And I mean, it's, to each their own, some people like that, but like it's already getting really faded, like the more I rub it. And my hands aren't like super dirty or anything like I, you know, heavily, I wash my hands multiple times with some like pumice soap um, after a long day's worth of work, um, especially when I'm making videos and stuff like that. But so my hands are essentially squeaky clean and it's still just residual oils from my hands just uh, really mess around with this anno for some reason. So I'm thinking of uh, redoing this one. Let me know if you guys uh, have any suggestions of what color. Uh, if you don't know what colors I'm able to achieve, essentially anything except for uh, red, I believe, and pink. Um, I can do like yellows, Golds, bronze, a, a bajillion shades of blue, just anything on the titanium anodizing 
uh, spectrum. You can go look it up. But these will be in a head-to-head -head competition. And you know what? I think a lot of people that are just getting their mash and might have missed out on the 395, I think they're going to be a little happier because me personally, I love the 395 because it's on the smaller side. Um, but the mash definitely has a little bit more size to it. Not much, nothing too significant. Um, a little bit more cutting edge there, but nothing too crazy. And again, both they, they both have wonderful access to that inset steel liner there. Yeah, this thing's just, this is gonna break in so nicely. And the, the thumb flick on this, it's not it's not sharp it's just knocked down just enough but it has a little bit of grabby grab to it so yeah this is going in the pocket immediately i'm going straight to work tomorrow this blade shape is going to make some quick work of what i do a lot um, at work cardboard plastic basic stuff like that um today this was my carry and i was just showing this off to people they were just like what the hell is that but um yeah, this is cool. I'm very happy with this. Um, of course, I will be taking a couple weeks of, you know, testing, using this thing in basic use. Um, this doesn't strike me as a super heavy-duty overbuilt knife, so I'm not going to be doing anything inappropriate with it. It's, again, it's just going to be seeing basic tasks around the house, possibly a couple things in the yard. It is wintertime. Um... And I mean, there's not a whole lot of stuff to do in the yard at this point in time, but um, this will definitely see a lot of paper and cardboard. Speaking of paper and cardboard, check out that factory edge. Pretty consistent. I like it. I like it. But let me, here's a little card that came with it. Yeah, this. No disrespect or anything, but I'm going to just you know, shred it up a little bit. Cool. Nice and bitey. For sure. So, I call that good. Um, definitely beats uh, a Sabenza out of the box, for sure. Moving forward, I will forever hold every <laughs> knife to a Sabenza's factory edge. If it's better than a uh, than my experience with my uh, Sabenza 31 small, uh, that factory edge was just ass. Absolutely awful in comparison to a lot of other budget knives that had just ridiculous edges on it. Um, speaking of budget, I wouldn't really consider this budget because at least on this channel, me personally, of course, this is my channel. Um, I say, and what I tell a lot of other people is that anything under a hundred bucks is budget. And you can get, you can be completely content with knives under the hundred dollar mark. Anything past that, I personally believe you're just getting into enthusiastic elements. So, um, yeah, this was, I believe, 135, 145, around there. Um, Kevin Johnson over there at the Lefty EDC channel, he had a little discount at the time, uh, Lefty 10. Of course, I used it and got a little bit off. So there is that. But yeah, so I'm super excited to use this thing. Let's check up. Good, good, solid. I like it. Any weight relieving? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Plenty of weight relieving. Now it looks like, so the titanium scales are heavily, heavily skeletonized in there. Um, but the steel liner is just a very small portion and it's actually screwed in somehow. Let me take a closer look at how the hell this is. Okay, 
it's all kind of pinned together from back here with the pocket clip screw and this back spacer screw. So that's gonna be interesting to do a little disassembly. Um, if I find anything worth noting, I'll make a little YouTube short. But uh, for now, hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing. If you guys like what you see here, go ahead and like and subscribe. If you haven't already, I definitely appreciate it. Go ahead in the comments, tell me what you like about it, what you don't like about it, how you think it's gonna perform. Um, if you got one, uh, which one you got? There's two variants, um, the reverse tux and then the satin, like all, all silver and everything. So yeah, go ahead, share what you want in the comments. And with that, have a wonderful day.